It's Easy Car Right, the Cosmic Cupcake with your forecast for November 11th through the 18th. And I do want to wish all of the uh, all of the folks in the Armed Forces a happy Veterans Day. Um, thank you very much for your service. So a lot of my family served in many different wars. So I appreciate all of all of them and all of you who are out there. Um, anyways, uh, let's get right to it here. It's our board of course moons we're going to start with this week. We got a couple that are like right in the early morning hours, so probably not going to do too much damage shopping or signing papers during those hours, but I'll tell you anyways, just in case you're having any important conversations during those hours. If you are, you're probably drunk, so. Um, but anyways, <laughs> and neither one of you will remember. Um, but our void of course moons this week are going to be today at 6 p.m. Sunday at 6 6 p.m. and until tomorrow at 12 13 a.m. so pretty much for the rest of the evening here then the moon is going to enter into secretive Scorpio Wednesday 5 39 a.m. to 5 52 a.m. is one of those little ones and uh, at following that void the moon will move into expansive Sagittarius Friday at 4 44 a.m. to 5 35 a.m. the moon will be void and then it's going to move into more serious Capricorn and finally on Saturday 6 54 p.m. to Sunday at 12 54 a.m. It will be void and then it's going to move into eclectic Aquarius. So the action takes place this week though in the sign of Scorpio, specifically 21 degrees Scorpio, or I would say 19 to 22, 23 degrees. So uh, or Tuesday we have a solar eclipse at 21 degrees Scorpio and eclipses are they're kind of like supercharged moons, okay? They, they'll they generally precede some major event too. So I'm still holding out. I still think there's going to be some sort of um, information that comes out about potentially where our uh, where our allegiance is with other countries and stuff just as a country but anyways that was something that we were talking about a couple of weeks ago um, but just remember whatever you do on an eclipse is going to have very long lasting effects so now new moons just regular old new moons are great for releasing the old and manifesting the new correct that's when you want to set your course for what you want to create over the next cycle or the next several months or whatever it is you're doing but the thing about a solar eclipse is, or any eclipse is it's like an exclamation point on it so it's supercharged energy and if you manifest on that solar eclipse it's like wow there's a lot of energy behind it and again long-lasting effects so um, now the way you want to do that is you just do it just the same way you do a regular you know new moon manifestation you know whether you write it out or meditate on whatever you want to create or, or you know any of those things so they, they work the same it's just extra power I don't know it's kind of silly but that's kind of what it is so, so eclipses come in they, they, they belong to things called sorrow cycles and it's it's periods that are familiar or, or uh, reminiscent of each other so this one goes back to it's a re like a reflection of the one that happened back in on November 3rd 1994 so think back to where you were then and notice if you're holding on to all any old energy from that period of time or repeating any patterns or anything um, just kind of notice it and resolve to make the changes where it's necessary. So the stars are really giving you a lot of extra energy to move forward. And I found this great quote by astrologer Robert Wilkinson. I thought he described this eclipse very um, eloquently. He said, the solar eclipse, this one, will have a huge impact on everyone for three plus years. It, all eclipses shut something down taking away elements of our lives no longer true for us. So over the next 38 months, many will go through endings while finding the role that they were born to play. So, and, and when you're talking about Scorpio energy, this is the deep, dark stuff. You know, this is, this is uh, transformative energy. This is releasing things that may have been ingrained in you for years and years and years. Um, stepping into your own power. There's a lot of really uh, very powerful energy behind it. Scorpio is intense. So you guys email me and let me know how it's working for you. What's going on and what you're planning on manifesting if you want to share that. So go to my Astro Girl Susie page and like it and you can post stuff out there on the page. So it's going to be interesting for all though. Uh, Mercury still retrograde as we know and this week it moves back from uh, out of Sag and backwards into uh, Scorpio. So this may bring up some other some leftover business from like back in October. And, uh, and uh, the one last big change we have this week is Neptune, the planet of what the hell is going on, is going to be moving forward finally. It's actually stationed today, and uh, it's going to start its forward movement, you know, anytime now. 
and it was it went uh, retrograde back about five months ago so it was that back in June I guess so any areas of confusion or uncertainty that started back then are gonna finally start to clear up and make a little sense so so this is really interesting I mean my my statement for this whole week feel it felt to me more like the truth comes out not much more you can say about that so um, hopefully your truth is all good <laughs> Aries this week is a great week for you to advertise your talents. Taurus, you want to beware of jealousy. Get the facts first. Gemini, funds might be delayed now, but show them that you're serious, and, and then you may be able to uh, get people to buy into whatever projects or ideas that you have going on that you need other people's resources for. Cancer, unexpected romantic encounters are on the plate for you this week, so hmm, let me know what happens. Leo, obligations at home are going to kind of bog you down. It's best to just finish them and move on. Virgo, people this week are going to be confusing to you. Now, generally, yes, humans are very confusing to you to begin with. Um, they don't do things the way you want. But, uh, but it's going to be a little bit even more wacky this week. So your best bet way to get through this week is just dream big. Like, get into your dreams and your plans and, and your things that you want to do in the future. Um, it's a good week to kind of check out of reality. <laughs> so most of the time I'm telling everybody to stay in reality, but you can check out this week. Um, and then come back next week and things will make a little more sense. So do not try to make sense of people. Um, Libra, finances are going to need structure this week. And this, this uh, eclipse is just the prime time to sit down and write out a very detailed budget and get a hold of, uh, hold of that aspect of your life. Scorpio, grab life by the cojones, people. This energy is about taking back your power. Sagittarius, the truth for you is definitely revealed and you're released from the bondage of your past and it's mostly about your personal truths. Um, Capricorn, you realize how important some of your friends really are. So maybe time for some weeding of the friend garden there. Uh, Aquarius, intense changes at work. So you want to be inventive and stay one step ahead. Pisces, high intuition this week. This is going to be a very intuitive week for you. Um, and also, though, it brings on tests of faith. So make sure that you walk your talk. People will be watching to see. Um, so if you want to know how this upcoming eclipse and all of the other energies impact you personally, contact me. I'm so easy to reach, really. astrogirl12.com, astrologernashville at gmail.com, and uh, schedule an appointment. I am available for readings, uh, phone, Skype, email, whatever. You, don't not, you do not have to live in the Nashville area to get a, a reading from me. So, um, And uh, until next week, that's all I got for you guys. Have a delicious week. Bye.